In this video, we are going to calculate gross pay, total deductions, take-home pay, and employer's payroll tax expense. Manny Matos is paid $12 per hour with time and a half for hours worked in excess of 40 hours per week. Last week, Manny worked 46 hours. Use the following information to answer the questions below. So these are the following information. So we have social security tax rate, Medicare tax rate, state unemployment tax rate, federal unemployment tax rate, union dues withheld, and federal income tax withheld. Begin by calculating gross pay. So we're going to do these A through D, and then we're going to do the journal entries for Manny's pay and employer's payroll tax. Okay, back to Manny's gross pay. We need to label, not label, but we need to write down Manny's regular hours. So regular Manny can only work 40 hours per week to get regular pay. Anything over that is overtime. So 40 hours times $12 equals 40 times 12 is 480 so we write 480 okay this is for regular now for overtime many worked okay since many worked 46 hours 40 is for regular that means six hours is for overtime so we write six hours times overtime is always the time plus half of what you get paid here. So half of 12 is six, which means time plus time and a half. 12 plus six is 18. 12 plus six is 18. There we go. So 18 per hour okay which means you multiply 6 by 18 6 by 18 you get 108 so here write down 108 is this too small for you guys let me there we go enlarge it okay now you want to add these two numbers. So 480 plus 108. 480 plus 108 equals 588. So Manny's gross pay is 588. Let's box it. Now calculate Manny's total deductions. Okay, now this is the fun part. You have information right here. You want to identify which one will Manny have to pay. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you. Every time there's a question like this, the employee has to pay social security tax, Medicare tax, union dues, and federal income tax. The only thing the employee doesn't pay is unemployment tax for state and for federal, okay? So we're going to label all these. So that I mentioned, we have social security tax, which in order to calculate Manny's social security tax, it says here that social security tax is 6.2%. So you are going to multiply Manny's gross pay, which is 588 by 6.2%. 588 multiplied by 6.2%. Okay. Now, if you have a calculator, you can... 
directly multiply you don't have to turn it into like 0 0.062 okay so this you get 36.45 no 456 which you want to round it to the to two decimal places so in this case it will be 36.46 here you have 36.46 okay now next thing we talk is medicare so medicare tax same thing take manny's gross pay multiplied by the percent of the tax so 588 multiply by 1.45 percent plug that into a calculator 1.45 percent you get 8.526 rounded to two decimal places you get 8.53 so you have 8.53 Okay, moving on. Skip the unemployment tax rate because Manny does not have to pay that. Union dues withheld, which is easy. You don't have to make any calculations because they already say it's $15. Union dues withheld. $15. i am just going to add the decimal places. Okay, so it's consistent. And then we have federal income tax withheld, which also easy, provided to you already, $85. Federal income tax withheld, which is $85. Okay. Now, you want to find the sum of all of these, okay? 36, let me put it here, okay. 36.46 plus 8.53 plus 15 plus 85. You get 144.99. So this will be Manny's total deductions 144.99 I'm gonna box it okay now we want to calculate Manny's take-home pay and take-home pay super easy you just subtract the total deductions by the gross pay so I'm just gonna write the formula right here for you guys formula gross pay minus total deductions so we have 588 minus 144.99 you get 443.01 so this is what Manny is going to take home now calculate Manny's employers payroll tax expense this part we're going to do the same thing as we did with Manny's total deductions where we find which one the employer is going to pay in this case I will tell you again Employer payroll tax, they're going to pay Social Security tax and Medicare tax. So same as Manny. Both of them pay Social Security tax and Medicare tax. However, employer, employer is not going to pay union dues withheld and federal income tax withheld because this is Manny's job. They are going to pay the state unemployment tax and federal unemployment tax. So as how Manny paid Social Security, Medicare, union dues, and federal income tax, employer, Manny's employer, is going to pay Social Security, 
Medicare, state unemployment tax, and federal unemployment tax. These two, they don't pay. So let's write that down. Social security tax. And it's gonna be the same as money. So it's gonna be 588 times 6.2%, which is 36.46. Okay. Medicare tax, same thing. Five eighty eight times one point four five per cent. We have eight point five three. And then state unemployment tax rate, you have Manny's pay, which is five eighty eight multiplied by the rate, which is five point four percent. So calculator. 588 times 5.4 percent 31.75 so write that down 31.75 last but not least we have federal unemployment tax rate which is Manny's gross pay times that 0.8% which is calculator 588 times 0.8% you get 4.704 which can round it to be 4.7 Zero. Okay, and same thing, what you want to do here, you want to add all of these to find the payroll tax expense. So let me add it right here. You get 36.46 plus 8.53 plus 31.75 plus 4.70 you get 81.44 okay so you have 81.44 dollars that Manny's employer has to pay in payroll tax expense. Okay, now we can move on to the journal entries.